So hello, my name is Panos Panagiotopoulos. I'm from Brunel University from the Department of Information Systems. And here I will present you a brief example of uh, a study of Twitter in the UK local government that we conducted with my colleague Stephen Sams. So this is an example uh, mainly related to public administration and what government authorities are doing with Twitter and microblogging. So this is a data set that we captured last February and we used the official list of DirectGov which lists 191 accounts from local government authorities. So these are official and we know that. We have a, we have a data set here of 296,000 tweets and all the follower and following relationships. And this is pretty much about 80 to 85 percent of what they have tweeted in total since they joined Twitter, those local government authorities. And we have done some kind of different analysis after, getting the collect after collecting the tweets. We analyzed the, st the structure of those tweets, what they're tweeting about and how they're tweeting, how they're using Twitter conventions like uh, hashtags, replies and retweeting patterns. And then we looked at what kind of networks they have formed on Twitter, with what stakeholders they interact and what are the relationships between these who follows them and who they're being followed by. Overview. Most of those local government authorities are from England. Some of them are from Scotland, Wales, and Belfast is from Northern Ireland. Those, those accounts have produced about um, 1,800 tweets on average, and they're being followed by 316,000 users, which is a quite uh, interesting figure here, quite a lot. Also, they have a massive second degree network of over 200 million users, which of course is not unique here. Some interesting observations after analyzing the data. First of all, in terms of networks, well, we thought that most of those authorities will be followed by local citizens. And this is the case, but we also noticed that um, they have a lot of common followers, even authorities that are not closely related to each other, even in terms of geography. Authorities that have nothing in common, have lots of common followers. But of course, authorities that have something in common, they have even more common followers. And this is interesting. For example, this graph shows how many common followers they have and the most we found between Glasgow and Edinburgh, but also between all major cities in England and Scotland and Wales. Then we looked at what is the relationship between those accounts and we found that they don't, um, they don't connect with each other a lot. They don't follow each other only just over 12% of the following relationships have been established and they don't retweet each other at all. This network shows some authorities that are very well placed here. They are being followed by at least 30 of the other accounts and they follow at least 30 accounts. And then we looked at what they are tweeting about. Well, their content tends to be quite uh, regional and uh, temporal and um, Basically, they tweet about things relevant to the local area or the broader local area and things that are happening now, they're immediate. So they use these kind of hashtags, for, uh, for example, Southampton. But also, and this is important, we found that they use Twitter now a lot for, uh, for emergency response. And we analyzed separately tweets related to the, to the riots in the summer of 2011 and we found that there was a very interesting mix of community mobilization activities, response to the riots, appeals for witnesses, community appraisal, and all this apparently helped to recover quickly from the riots and simplified the recovery stage. And finally, and this is one of the challenges that we have, we're trying to see what they're tweeting about and we have conducted a series of keyword frequency, keyword occurrences, but those tweets have no sentiment. Many, many of those have no sentiment. And also, given the, um, the extent of the data set, of course, we cannot analyze them manually. So it would be interesting to have some tools to find out what they're tweeting about in more detail. But from what we know, they're tweeting about news, they're tweeting about what the council is doing, they're tweeting about today, they're tweeting about events, and they're informing local citizens what they're doing or what they want them to find out. Thank you and please email or tweet for more information.